Happy Monday! If you watched my videos last week, last Wednesday and Friday, if you've not seen those, I will leave those videos in a card above. I told y'all that I would be back on Monday with my teacher backpack video. So what's in my teacher backpack? This is going to be very casual. I have not even taken the tags off of my backpack. So I'm going to share the backpack. I've already talked about it Wednesday and Friday, but I love it so much. I'm going to share it again today, the ins and outs. Then we are going to casually put everything in my backpack to go for school. Now I want to say before I get to that, a big thank you to everybody that's used my Jujubee link in my description. Y'all have been so amazing. So I am a B affiliate, but they do not pay me to make videos. So the video that I made on Friday was a comparison video and an opinion video, my opinion, between the B-Packed and the B-Zealous from B. So many people have um, purchased, and thank you so much for using my link. So I'm going to turn the camera around and share the backpack with you, and we're going to fill it together. So... So this is my backpack that I am using as my teacher backpack. And you guys, I might switch out throughout the year. I just really have a lot of bags. I love bags, I love pouches. So I do tend to switch them out, but I always share on Instagram when I do that. And if I have a different like setup, I will share a video over that as well. So let's take all this little plastic off. Y'all, I haven't done anything since last week's videos. Okay. Back to what I was saying, my dog just interrupted me. So this is the B B Packed in the Mad Mad World print. I am a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. So when I saw this, I immediately wanted to purchase it. So I've got it in several things that I will slowly share with you guys. But the background of this, I thought from photos, was lilac. It looked really pale purple, but it's actually a white and gray stripe, which I love even more. So this does not do this justice. This is so much more beautiful in person. Dog is over here. So if you hear little feet, that is Armani. Okay, so I haven't taken any of the plastic off. And look at the zipper pull. Look at that little teacup. Y'all, it's all about the details, and Juju B has done an amazing job with this collection. Okay, that took it a little bit longer than anticipated, and then I thought I had the camera on, and I didn't, so I'm filming this part again. So every single zipper pull had the plastic around it, which was good. The plate on the front had plastic on it, so it would stay protected in transportation from the warehouse to you, which was good. So the first thing that we're gonna do is address the pockets on the side. So these are bottle pockets. They will fit a water bottle, and I, but I don't use it for that. But you can use it for that. What I use it for are things that I need to grab really quickly. So I have my hand sanitizer. Now this is not my favorite, um, but it actually matches the bag. Look, it matches pretty nicely. So this is Honest Company's Grapefruit Grove. It's, I just, the scent's not my favorite, but I'm going to keep that in there because that's what I have. I usually keep two pins. So my favorite, Precise V5RT from Pilot, and then I've got a Paper Made Ink Joy, which looks like it's about empty. So I'm going to keep both of those in there. And then in addition to that, I'll always have chapstick. Y'all know I always have to have some chapstick. So I'm going to keep those things on that side. Then this other pocket, I'm going to put some hand lotion. Um, this is the First Aid Beauty um, Ultra Repair Cream. Y'all, I don't, I don't have a favorite hand cream. It's just whatever I have out and about and then some chapstick so the this is what i always keep if there is a pocket on the side a bottle pocket i will always keep some pens hand sanitizer chapstick and some lotion so that is what's going to go in there now we are moving to the front and y'all already know what's going in the front the front pocket is not very big, which is why I like the B-Packed. I do not need a ton of space because when I have a ton of space, I use the space and then my backpack gets extremely heavy. So I don't even use these bungee pockets in the back unless I'm keeping a powder compact. I don't know if I'm going to take that tomorrow or not. Y'all, I'm one of those people that I will apply makeup in the morning. I actually don't even like to wear makeup, but I do to work. So I will put makeup on in the morning and then that is it. So the only reason I will have a powder compact in here is for the mirror. That's it. So the first thing I am going to put in there is some of these wet ones. I do like to carry these. Y'all, this not only helps me, but it helps if I spill something in the car 
or you know the kids need one so that is going to go in the front anytime these are in the travel section so anytime i go shopping and i'm down the travel section you know the little small travel accessories shampoos and things i always get some of these next you know i've got my splits wallet so this is this is in my amazon storefront i do have some things in my amazon storefront i will link that in the description below but I always have a splits wallet. This is the small world print. I think that's actually what it's called. I'm not sure. But it's supposed to look the, like the small world at Disney. So this goes in the front. Now I love the splits wallet. It's made so many different favorites. You guys love it too. Because it's RFID shielded. Which means that you know those fancy little devices or whatever they have. They can't swipe your bag and get your card information. So I don't have to worry about somebody reaching in and grabbing this out of the front pocket because I'm literally going from my car to work and then work to my car and then my car to home. So that's it. Now I have been carrying this. This is my Sony Clover fanny pack and this is what I normally carry one of these type things in and out of stores so y'all I just I'm not a big purse person I like bags but I don't like purses so I'm more of a backpack and fanny pack person at the moment so that's normally what I carry so I'm gonna keep that in there and then last but not least I am going to put my keys and this is an O Venture O ring so this is made favorites it made my Christmas list last year um, my recommendations for gifts I love this I'm also an O Venture affiliate which means if you click a link and make a purchase i do make commission that's not why i'm sharing this y'all i love these i have about five or six of these i've given them as gifts they have pouches these allow you to be hands-free now i do have a lanyard like my um, classroom keys aren't in here yet i have a lanyard but the reason why i prefer this over the lanyard let me zoom in this is the marble one if we'll zoom in there we go so the reason i prefer this over the lanyard is because when i put the lanyard on you can hear my keys clanking around like you hear this sound as i come down the hallway so i will start with my lanyard on and then by the time i get out my door out of my door at work i've already put them in my hands so this goes around my wrist and i'm still hands free and it doesn't make that jingle jangle sound so that will go in the front so those are the only things that i keep in the front my old venture o-ring with my car key and y'all my car is one of those types that i don't have to actually put the key in the ignition my key ring just has to be in the car for it to start then i have my wet wipes and then i have my splits wallet so now we are to the main compartment here. So I do not use this little zipper in the front. If I do, it's for hair ties or something like that or bobby pins. Now this does come with a diaper changing pad. Y'all, I do not have diaper age kids. And I have a whole drawer of these. I cannot figure out what to do with these. So y'all let me know how you use these. If you buy Jujube and you found a different use for them let me know because i'm not sure exactly what i need to do with those so i'm not going to use this top pouch now i was using it for an external hard drive or was it my may have been my charger if i put something in there it's not going to be anything that's going to take up a, a nice amount of space so this is the part like i said last week that i hate i do not like that this tech pocket it flaps inside here and then you have to like go and tuck it in the back so i don't even use the back i just use it to kind of keep that top little portion up so now let me move this up there we go okay there we go now you can see everything so i don't even use this back bungee compartment here because i just find it's just annoying i only use it to keep that tech pocket down and out of my way so i am going to try my best not to cram my teacher backpack with items this year i have been known to cram so much stuff i think that's the common comment on my teacher backpack videos is you carry so much stuff so i'm going to try not to do that so i have minimal things here so the first thing is this so this is a stony clover pouch so i did get this off of mercari because this is a 
pouch that was discontinued. Now, I know Stony Clover Lane items are a tad bit pricey, but I really like them. So, I do have a few. If you've seen my office, you know that I have a whole stack of these. They call them flat pouches. I really, really like them. This is the one that I've been using this summer. I love this print. And this is my financial pouch. So y'all, you don't have to get Sony Clover Lane, but I'm just giving you ideas of ways you can use pouches in your backpack. So, but you hear that zipper? I mean, good zippers, hard to come by. So it is my financial pouch here. So I'll take everything out and share with you what's inside. So I have all of my checkbook registers. Y'all know I use the Erin Condren Petite Line Journals for my checkbook registers. And there's those post-it notes that I keep on everything. Let me share why I have four of these. So I have two for my personal checking account because right now I'm between two I have ran out of one and now I've moved to the second one. But still, when I do my checkbook balancing, I still need to refer to the older one. So that's why I have two of those. Um, next is my business checkbook. So I do have a business checking account. Then I have my budget planner. So if you've not seen my budget planner video, I will link that in a card above. So those are my four checkbook registers for the moment. This piece of paper needs to go in there. That's a, I'm in the process of balancing one of my checking accounts. Then I do have one of my four by six post-its. And then I have checkbooks for my business and personal in here. So all of that stays in my financial pouch. So all of that stays in my financial pouch and I just slide that in there like so. Next thing is my iPad. So I did get an iPad this summer. So this is where I'm starting to keep all of my um, lists for the shop, new releases and everything. So instead of having my monthly planner that I've been using as my content planner, I'm trying to move to this iPad. So we're going to slide that in there. And then I have my life planner. So this life planner is what I use as my planner. It's my horizontal life planner in the Just My Type print. And you know what? Where did my little tab go? So these are Ashley Designs planner tabs and y'all, I've used these in my planner since the beginning of my planning journey. You guys have seen them. You ask about them. I always share them in my plan with me videos because everybody, I have people asking all the time. Anytime I share a planner picture, they're like, where did you get those tabs? Ashley Designs, they are my all time favorite planner accessory. So the today and the month, so I know exactly where to go in my planner. So this is going to go in here as well. And then this is gonna go in there. This is the only other notebook oriented type of thing that's going in here. This is my current brain dump. And I've had people ask me to do a video on it. Y'all, there's nothing really to it. All I do is jot down notes. Let me see. So see, there's some like things I knew I needed to come up with for September. And it's just, see, just a little, no, just nothing, just a place to document stuff when I might need to document stuff, if you know what I mean. So, those are all in there. Then, over here on this side, I have just enough space to keep my accessory pouch. So, I have done a video over my pencil pouch. So, I've been using the Hello Summer this is an adorable Hello Kitty print. I did share this in my, I think, my June favorites. So I'm going to switch this one out for the Mad Mad World. So this is the medium B-set piece. So the B-set comes with a small, medium, and large crossbody strap and a wristlet strap. The medium is the perfect size for my pencil pouch. So that's what we are going to use, and I'm going to share what I'm putting in here. So I've got pins. And, you know, this is where it gets really kind of dicey. I will put so much stuff in here, and I don't mean to. So, I've got all these pens. I've got a few highlighters. Just one today? Just one highlighter today, okay? Um, I have a Sharpie in here. I have hair tie in here. I have a battery, and you might wonder why I have a battery. I keep a battery in here because my my mouse is a wireless mouse, so I like to have an extra battery just in case it go, it dies on me. Um, some cough drops because 
you never know when you might need some cough drops. Then I have a few bobby pins in here. And then a white out runner. And y'all, this is one. I don't even think they make the big mini ones like this anymore. I think they look like the other ones. So I usually use the Tombow ones. They're my new favorite, but this, I guess, is one of the older ones. And then I have two things of chapstick. So you guys know, I have several chapsticks that go with me all the time. So that fits in there, and I will slide that in the side here. Let's do it this way. Yep, like this. And y'all, that is what I carry, and then a mask. And the mask... I'm going to show it in that little pocket at the top that I told you I wasn't going to use. I'm going to use it for that. And y'all, that is what I'm going to carry in my teacher backpack. I'm going to try to keep it really simple this year and not overload my backpack, which is why I like the Be Packed over the Be Zealous because y'all, there's really not a whole lot of room left for me to cram this bag with. Before I am finished, I just want to summarize one more time. So we're going to start with the side pocket. So I've got my hand sanitizer and some pins on one side. On the other side, I have lotion and some chapsticks. The front pocket here, I have my Lug Splits wallet. I have my Oventure O-ring with my car keys. And then I have some wet wipes in the back. And then the main compartment here, I have my life planner, which is my everyday planner, my iPad, a brain dump notebook, and then my financial pouch, which is a Stony Clover flat pouch that has all of my checkbook registers and checks for my business and personal account. And then I have on the side here, my pencil pouch. So it's a medium B set piece from Jujube. And y'all, and then the top, all I have is my mask. And that is it. Now let's take a look. And here comes Ace. He is so nosy. And y'all, he's trying to bite my toe. <laughs> okay. So this is what it looks like zipped up. So this is what it looks like zipped up. And if you turn it to the side. See how it still has a slim profile? I love that. It's standing up on its own. It's not falling over to the front like the Be Zealous would for me. And y'all, you may not have that problem out of the Be Zealous, but I did. So I love that it's not heavy. It has everything that I need in here and nothing more. And then the back, I love that the back has this mesh vented back. And the straps also have that material underneath as well. So you guys, that is my Jujube Be Packed backpack in the Mad Mad World print. And I cannot wait to start carrying it to and from school. So that is my 2021-2022 teacher backpack, which is the Jujube Be Packed backpack in the Mad Mad World print. So in the comments below, I want you to share with me what videos you would like me to share in the next couple of months. I need some more ideas. I'm not really knowing what direction to go with on video topics, so I want you guys to let me know what you want to see. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.